All right, welcome back. I think this is part four, uh, probably our last part. We've only got three turns left. <clears throat> um, this is uh, Rifles in the Nam, soon to be released. Tiny Battle Publishing. Um, again, playtest uh, disclaimer, maybe subject to change. Right now we are playing the uh, Search and Destroy mission. Our goal is with our squad of Marines here, broken up into two groups, is literally to clear all enemy units on the board. Um, notice we do have two areas left here to enter and clear with potential event markers and <clears throat> depend probably row up enemy presence since there are none on the board. Um, so it's probably going to come down to the wire. Um, and we have killed, well, I don't have the units here, but five NVA at this point, uh, mainly through close combat. Uh, this guy did some supporting fire. And a big problem right now is deep jungle right here, which costs a lot of action points to get through. So, all right, so we're going to start our turn three. And I am shifting over to my dice roller here instead of the vassal one because you get mixed results. So let's see what we get here. Wow. Um, okay, we got one action point, two bonus points. Okay. So, this is what we're going to do. So, we could have a total of three action points, but first thing we're going to, to do is burn the AI, yeah, in case you're wondering, how did I come up with that? Uh, here we go. Here are the rolls. So, the three is an action point, and the sixes, I think, let's let me pull that up. Yeah, the sixes are bonus action points, which can be used to help with something and or use as an action point. So we'll see here. Maybe we can sprint to the finish line here. So uh, we're definitely going to use the one action point to do a move into the rice paddy. Hold on here. My mouse is acting up. Okay, there we go. That was weird. So we're going to move here and a number of things happen. First, we're going to flip this. Two. That is a good sign. Nothing. Okay, that's good thing number one. Every time it enters a rice paddy, and a result of one or two, place a booby trap. Okay, we're going to roll for that now. Let's see if they stumble into a booby trap. No, they did not. It's looking good for our Marines here. So they didn't get a booby trap. Nothing happened here. They've used one action point. Um, I'm thinking they're just going to go for it. They're going to go to the end. This is a good roll here of getting that uh, two. So if we go on a rice paddy, units moving on a rice paddy cannot attack in the same turn. Okay, spending one RP cancels this. I think I can keep moving. Um, let's see about that. I think I can just keep moving. Uh, move to a terrain. Okay, I don't want to do that. Move one stripe. Move the selected group one stripe up or down. One BAP to gain a repoint. I didn't do that. Remove cover marker from the group. Exception. Tanner stripe in deep jungle. You must spend two APs. Um, but I'm thinking I can keep moving. So let's see. There's an asterisk here. But I don't see where the asterisk goes. I think we're okay. Three dice, da, 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 three to five. Bonus action, you may now spend that. Spent as APs. Uh, actions and combat. Blah, blah, blah. That can benefit from BIPs or asterisks. Now I get one or more APs, yeah. Repeat until all the APs have been used. Well, we're just going to go for it. So we're going to use one of those bonus action points. We're going to keep one in our pocket. We haven't fired. We're going to move here. And now we're going to flip. And we got a five. Enemy roll on patrol. Units are hidden. Ouch. We are going to be left with a battle. So let's see. But in their turn, they may do something. To reveal themselves. Okay, we're on the patrol table. We don't have a recon point. I'm not going to do that. I'm saving it. Let's see what we get. A four. Wow. 
that's actually on our stripe because there are no more left. So we do have three more units. Um, I'm just going to reuse these guys. C, B, A, and they're all hidden. Um, take the suppression off them. So what have I done so far? I've done the two moves. No booby trap. These guys are hidden, so question is, should I do a spotting action on them? Um, that costs one AP. Because I can't do any, if they're hidden, I can't do anything to them. So I think I am going to do that. Uh, I'm going to see if I can spot these guys. So that uh, hopefully next turn I can do something. There will be no enemy presence roll, though, because I've got more than two units. So... Uh, let's go and check out spotting. I think it's a three plus. Dang, got to roll a five or a six. If I had that one BAP left. Um, nope, that's three was the most I can do. All I can do is hope for a five or six. It's because this guy can't do anything. It costs two AP to move here. So let's see if I get lucky. No, didn't spot them. So that is the end of my phase. Um, but now we have to see what the enemy is going to do. Hopefully they're not going to do anything stupid. Let's see what we got here. All right, so that's the wrong table. Here we are, enemy activation table, no modifiers. And I got no grenades. Ooh, this could be problematic. Two, if there's a target group in range, attack nearest target group. Open fire. And we got three as a fire group. And our seven, so that's what they're going to do. Um, open fire loses their hidden. So let's see if they get the leader. Oh, I got to roll randomly. Boom! Somebody's suppressed. Let's whirl our way down here. Third one down. That is a problem here. I don't know if we can pull it off now. That's it. Um, so we go to the turn track. Why do I always have a hard time finding this? We're down to turn two. Turn two. And this is what it's all about at this point. Um, can this group kill this group? So let's see how many activations we get. Got three dice. Huh. Huh. Okay. Well, uh, they could fire it point blank, or they could do a close combat and then spend a bonus action point. That may be what they do. Let's see. But no grenades. Let's see if we got a bonus action point here. No grenades. One RP target. Engage group spending one. All you get is a plus one. All right, let's... Uh, let's run the numbers here. We got a minus one. Nobody suppressed. Um, no, wait. Oh, man. Somebody suppressed. We got a minus two. Got a minus one. No grenades. Okay, we got a plus one and a plus one. We got a plus two there, so... Let me do this again. I got minus two for this, down to minus one. So we got a plus one. Um, let's see if this is even wise here. Plus one versus they're gonna get, they're gonna get a plus one. They're gonna get a plus one. Oh my gosh, no. Um, nope, we're gonna go to plan B. We're going to we're going to combine the leader with the grenade launcher and a bonus action point. 
And we are going to get uh, recon would have done it. I should have. Well, I think we're going to do that instead. We're just going to take a shot at them, see if we can attrition them down. Uh, we're not going to recover that guy. I guess I could separate him out of the group for next turn. Um, I could do a fire group now. No. Oh, all right, we're going to fire. Okay, here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> we're going to spend two AP and uh, do flanking fire. <clears throat> Give us a plus one for everybody firing. So that's number one. That's a good one. Flanking fire. Um, here, flanking fire costs two AP. A selected group can attack one target. Oh, only one target. Hmm. All right, well, let's see. I got two. I can only fire twice. What happens if I do close combat? No, close combat doesn't look good here. It's a roll of the dice. And it could be all over. So I'm going to do that fire first. So I'm going to... Maybe we'll save the flanking fire for later. It's for one target. <clears throat> so let's do the grenade launcher with the leader. Um, and it's area two, area three. Area three, great. So basically at a plus two, their TNs are seven. So let's see if we get lucky. <laughs> Unbelievable. Box cars times three. That means every one of these guys is suppressed. That does set it up for next turn. Ah, it doesn't roll better than that. I feel like I'm using a vassal roller there. Boy, these guys got lucky. And now we got two M16s left at point blank range. That means they got a two CF. Um, yeah, I'm doing. Actually, one of them can use a flanking fire bonus of plus one. So we'll see. One of them gets a plus one. So let's roll two dice. Okay, and the first one is going to be with the flanking fire. So it's a three. And that one's two. Uh, three and three is six. Nope, flub flub. So we're not over yet. Um, great job with the grenade launcher, but they're all still there. And now we roll to see what the enemy does. I doubt they're going, well, they can't go in close combat with all, all of those units, um, suppressed. Okay, so I think we're recording again. Let's see. So let's find out what these guys do. A one. Rally. Holy smoke. That was good. Let's pull this one off and check what they do. Let's see if all of them try and rally. Wow, that was just the roll they needed. All of them are going to try. I get a three plus to come back. So that changed things. Let's roll three dice and... Uh, they may have to close combat next turn. Okay, the first unit does not rally, and the other two do. Okay, that's good enough. That's going to make them harder to kill. They got the same guy. Hold on. I think it's this guy. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just playing the leader as a regular unit. Um, I'll look at the rules later, see if it should have been a leader. But but that's good for them, because guess what? Uh, just when it looked like things were going well for the Marines, we're down to the last turn. And uh, this is a big roll here first, so we're going to finish this one out, unless I did it again. No, I didn't. Good. So the first thing we're going to roll for is uh, yeah, three of them for activation. Now, if they roll all twos, it's game over. <laughs> Sit. We're going in. <laughs> this is it. The whole game is all around this one close con. Well, there is an enemy presence check technically, but if they kill them all, I don't know if they can kill them all. 
that rally action is what saved them. I don't think they can pull it off. I don't. But let's see what happens here. Let's look at the modifiers for a close combat. So for the attackers, we got a minus one. Nobody's suppressed, right? No, shoot. Minus two. Minus one. Zero. We got a zero, if I'm reading that right. A zero. I don't think the leader helps with close combat. Okay, I found a leader present in the group here. So this list, I'm going to have to put this in. This doesn't have leader present in the group, so we're going to have to add that in. Um, but let's go ahead and calculate it again. Oh, and there's your one bat. Okay, those those need to be included. Okay, it's HME. Okay, so let's try the US again. Um, I think we only had one, so it's all this. So we got plus one for the leader. And then we got a minus one goes to zero because they got a suppressed unit. And then we got a minus one because of this. We got a grenade launcher. Then we got a plus one because of that, so we're back to zero. Um, no grenades, zero, no cover, zero. Zero, that's interesting. Attackers, oh, no, zero. Plus one. So it looks like we got a plus one. And let's see what the bad ones uh, NVA has. Unit suppressed is minus one. Nope. Nope. And then they got zero for that. So they got a plus one. A plus one. Um, they got a zero. I think I said I did get a zero. Yep, so it's zero and plus one. So this is the game here. Um, I'm going to roll two dice and do the same thing. The U.S. has a plus one. The NVA is flat. First number is the U.S. Marine Corps. They got a six to a four. That's one D3. Yep. Suffers 1d3. They're not. If they roll a 6, that's 3 hits. And that's not enough. There's 2, 4, 5 hits. They're going to come up. They're going to run right out of time here. Let's go ahead and do the roll. Because the enemy may do something in return. So they've got uh, 1d3. Okay, they got. Um, they got three hits. That's not, I mean, one and two is a one, two and uh, three and four is a two, five and six is a three. So they got three hits. So let's look at this here. Yep, one guy's dead. And the other two are suppressed. Ah, so close. One more turn. And uh, they would have done it. One more turn. They could have taken those guys. Um, yeah, they don't have any action points, and this guy's too far away. Wow. Um, let's go ahead and finish this. What does the enemy decide to do? That's what we got to figure out next. Um, so, let's see. I believe we're, um, over here. Too many charts. We got to, okay, we got to change the chart to include more of that, but let's see. Enemy activation table. They've got enough units. There's no enemy presence roll. So let's see what these two suppressed units decide to do. Roll dice. They just rally. Um, they may even get lucky here. 3-3. Three, three, they both rallied. <laughs> Doesn't mean probably next turn um okay well that's it um let's go to the turn track and make sure there isn't one more turn that was it that was game turn one 
I mean, that was countdown. So, wow. One turn short. I think that wasted turn firing here. Had to have been more aggressive coming through this stuff. And then this deep jungle dividing up the units. Um, but one more turn and they could have done it. Well, that, that's taking it down to the wire. But at least they didn't lose anybody. Uh, we got a suppression here they can rally from. Got to be aggressive. Got to be aggressive. All right, well, then that's a wrap. So that was a playthrough there. I know I probably fudged a few of these die rolls here, got the wrong modifiers. I did notice I need to make the play aid chart to reflect more of the close combat modifiers. Got to check that because it didn't include uh, some of the ones in the rules here. Yeah, these are missing. And uh, there was something interesting here too. Engage group spending one BAP. Oh, okay. That's so you can spend a bat for one. That's no surprise. But I didn't see that here. So I'll have to get this tweaked. But uh, beyond that, yeah, hope you enjoyed the playthrough here. Number of parts here. And we come to the end and our Marines are not totally successful. But like I said, they're probably one turn away from finishing off these guys here. Um, because there's no enemy presence check. Maybe next turn they'll take them. So we'll see. But again, play this again, and who knows? Terrain's different. Event marker breakup is different. Um, what the enemy patrol tables reveal to you is different. Booby trap. So if I played this again, um, could be entire. Well, would be entirely different. So there's no magic, uh, magic pattern or plan to do to win this every time. And I didn't use the artillery because, well, basically it would have slowed me down. But I can revisit that. Maybe you kind of do it preemptively a few stripes ahead. Because if you're in the same stripe as your artillery, friendly fire can occur. So you don't want to get carried away. But anyway, that was a close one. Maybe next time. And if we were playing the campaign game, well, all my units came out of it alive. But it was a mission fail. So I don't know how that would affect the next one in the campaign game. Anyway, we'll end it here. Ooh, this is a long one, but it's the last one. So if you got this far, thanks for listening. And uh, hopefully I'll be posting more of these in the future. See what the next missions are. Anyway, thanks for listening.